Hey guys, what is up? I thought I would do another video on the Wagner Smart Edge roller. Uh, last time I did one, we did it with the same color paint on the wall, so we were just doing the same color paint. Uh, this time around, I had a project where it was a color change. We were actually, it was fresh drywall and we were painting, so we figured we would give it a try here to see how well it did there with the new trim and new drywall how well it would cover so we started up by loading it up if you haven't seen that first video where we went through all the features and how to set it up check up the check it out the uh, link will be up above towards the end of the video It'll be on the right hand corner and right off the bat I started by pumping paint into it um, this was the second time that I used it and I did wash the roller out well but it was still a little bit hard to get the paint to go into the roller after having used it one time. So here I'm just rolling on a piece of cardboard trying to pump the paint to get all the way into the roller so that we can start rolling on the walls. Alright guys, so we're going to start on the ceiling with no trim and we're going to try it out there first. Then we'll jump up here where there is crown molding. Still having a little bit of trouble getting the paint in there so I just went ahead and started working it into the edges with my fingers. Um, that seemed to help and after a while of rolling it, it got a little better. And we went ahead and started rolling on the new trim. I did tape it up just because this was a job and I didn't want to mess it up. So it is taped and caulked. Alright guys, we cut in the top and the only thing it doesn't get is these little corners up here. If I can point it out to you guys. Alright, so these corners, like the very corner end, that's the only area it didn't go in. Um, but it took less than 10 minutes to cut the top end and all right yeah so it took like less than 10 minutes to cut the top end it's not a perfect uh line like you would have with tape so it's not like a professional crisp line it, it is a straight line as long as your trim is straight and there's not bumps or things on there um but i mean it's a respectable line it's for a homeowner, for someone just working on their house. Um, it gives you a better line than a lot of the lines that I've seen when people paint their walls and they got zigzags and they got paint all over the ceiling and all over the crown molding. So again, you're not getting professional lines like we're gonna do here with the tape, but it is respectable. Um, wait on it to dry and see how it looks. But it took about 10 minutes to do the whole top part of this. Uh, so, all right, uh, again, like I said, for homeowners, for you guys like that, that just want something at home, you're not great at doing lines, I think this will work for you guys. Um, like any tool, it has a learning curve. The hardest part was working the paint into the roller. Since it's the second time that we've used it, um, it took a bit for the paint to get there. And then make sure that you keep this edge clean because this is the edge that's going up against all the crown molding and the ceilings and then these little bristles right here the little brush bristles those are the ones that give you the edge so i kind of got them a little bit wet i put a little bit of extra paint on them just so that they could give me that edge and then if you need to wipe this off as you go just do it um, i only had to fill it up once to do the whole top of the room i still got a little bit of paint in here 
Um, but again, yeah, there is a little bit of a learning curve. You kind of have to learn how to use. Oh, and another tip, this little thing right here. So if you're going in this way, sorry guys, if you're going in this way, you can turn this. See the little bristles? You can turn them so that you can go the other way and you can switch the side that the roller is going. So especially for like the little corners, when you get to the corner and you need to do the other side of the corner, then you go and you turn this. All right, and it does have the little hook to hang, I guess, off of your ladder or whatever. Um, but once you get the paint in there, it goes pretty smooth. I'm gonna finish up the ceiling up here and kind of do some of the smaller edges and see how that looks. All right, guys, again, this, for a professional painter, um, we wouldn't use it on a day-to-day -day basis uh, just because of it leaves a small, slight gap between the trim and the actual paint just because of that little yellow piece that slides up against the, the ceiling or the trim, the guide. Um, but that being said for a homeowner a person that doesn't paint very often um, isn't comfortable with a paintbrush to make a straight line this would work fine it doesn't look horrible it gives you a straight line um, it's just not something that a professional would use on a day-to-day -day basis but if you are just painting a room or your house and you want something that will help you out get a get a cut in a little bit quicker i think this might help you guys um, the only thing that i can see is that little gap it's like an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch between the trim and where the paint actually starts that's the only um, downside and then i guess the cleaning you have to make sure that you clean it very well uh, it was a little bit hard to get the paint into the roller this second time around but as always guys, thank you guys for checking out the video. I hope this helps if you're looking at this tool for your house. And if you like the video, hit that like, that comment. Let me, leave me some comments guys to let me know if you guys have used this, um, what you guys think about it. And again, thank you guys for the support and I'll see you guys next week.